everyone. Welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today, I'm gonna to share with you six tips you need to know before using your Instant Pot. So my name is Kristen, and usually every Monday I share an Instant Pot recipe with you, but today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm sure some of you just got a new Instant Pot for Christmas, and so I'm gonna share with you six tips you need to know before you get started. Number one, now most recipes tell you how long it takes to cook just in your Instant Pot. It doesn't take into account how long it takes to actually pressurize. So when you set your timer, you have to wait about, oh, anywhere between five and 15 minutes for your pot to pressurize. So if you're in a hurry and you need something quick, make sure you take into account the pressurized time. Number two, one of the biggest mistakes that new Instant Pot users make is that this little knob is turned to venting when they're trying to cook. So when you are cooking or pressure cooking with your Instant Pot, you wanna make sure that your little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Number three, your Instant Pot needs some sort of liquid, whether it's water, chicken broth, even salsa. If it has some liquid, that's how it pressurizes. Without liquid, you'll get the lovely burn notice, which you don't want. If you're ever in doubt, just add a little bit more liquid so your pot can pressurize. Number four, all right, another common question is what is the difference between natural release and a quick release? So I'm gonna show you. When you get started with your pressure cooker, you wanna make sure that your little knob is on sealing, right? Sealing means it's gonna cook, it's gonna pressurize. When it's all done, when the timer goes off, you have two options. You can let it sit on sealing, and that's called a natural release. You're gonna let all the pressure out of the pot all by itself. But if you want to get it quicker, you can turn the little knob to venting and it will let all of the steam out quickly. It takes about oh, anywhere from one to three minutes to let all of the steam out. So whenever you see any recipe that calls for a quick release or a natural release, now you know the difference. Number five, another common question I get is what is the difference between a manual button and a pressure cook button? So I'm gonna tell you. The difference is there are lots of different kinds of Instant Pots. So if you have an Instant Pot Lux, which is a six quart, eight quart, or even a three quart, you're gonna have a little button that says manual. If you have a duo, then you're gonna have a button that says pressure cook. It's actually the same button. They're just in a little bit different spots. So with the Lux, your button, your manual button is down below. With the duo, your pressure cook button is on the side. Now, you can use these other buttons for different things, but the majority of my recipes, I use the pressure cook button or the manual button because then you can use all different kinds of Instant Pots. And number six, when you're first starting with your Instant Pot, lots of times people can't figure out why their Instant Pot isn't turning on. And one of the main reasons is your cord is not plugged in all the way. I, would, I wanna say about 75% of the time when I respond to that, they always say, oh yeah, my cord wasn't plugged in all the way. So you just wanna make sure on the Duo that you check it very carefully. So you wanna make sure the Duo comes in and out and it's plugged in all the way. You can push it in really hard, then you just plug it in. With the manual, it it's doesn't come out, so you're good there. But it's if you have the Duo and it's not pressurizing or if it's not turning on, please check your cords. In the video down below, I'm sharing with you all kinds of basic Instant Pot recipes so you'll be able to use your pot right out of the box. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.